What's happening, everybody? I'm Grimmaster. Welcome to Little Orcus. Uh, 2D side scrolling style type of game. What's happening? What? Good one, yeah. That's weird. I don't, I, I don't remember hitting start button. I guess I gotta just hit. Yeah, the, the art style. This is all. Our comrade Ivan Ivanovich Privalov. In 1961. You were selected for the Shukovgrad Interilnaut Exploration Programma SSSR. Despite failing your basic physical and being caught cheating on your entrance exams, on the morning of the 12th of April 1962, you boarded a rocket drill containing the experimental device Little Orpheus with the purpose of descending through the Earth's crust to discover the relative hollowness of the interior and its suitability for colonization. No, you've lost me, General. Did I do what? You and little Orpheus were dropped into an extinct volcano to drill to the center of the Earth and find out if we could establish a city there. Note, if you will, that this date is over three years ago. Okay, that's an, that's an interesting way to start it. And 2.5, I guess, D, not 2D. That's really 2.5D. Yeah, there's like a whole bunch of stuff that's in the background and everything. Oh, I'm all like messed up. All right, well, at least we know how we got in here. So we're, <laughs> we're, we're the, we journeyed to the center of the earth in it. I actually haven't really looked into it too much. Um, I, don't, I don't in most games because I like to know. I, I, Ivan enough that I want to play, but... Can you describe Little Orpheus to me? Of of course. <laughs> it was uh, large and round and had something of a disagreeable smell. I was referring to its technical specification. Well, oh. General, I am no man of science. But it had this uh, radio thing that I was supposed to use to let the surface know I had arrived. And uh, some sort of battery wrapped in this lead box. But I was told to not touch anything under any circumstances. And I did notice the engineers who worked on it were quite a shifty bunch. All right. I mean, a whole day to jump. I've been jumping the whole time. Uh... All right, but yeah, yeah, this game, it just looks so nice. Yeah, I like I like being surprised. I'm the little Orpheus device like, oh my God. contained a radio transmitter capable of sending a signal through miles of solid rock. In order to boost this, a powerful energy source was required. An atomic bomb, comrade Prevalov. An atomic bomb that you have lost. Oh, Somewhere that sounds good. below the Earth's crust. Ah, yes, that bomb. <laughs> of course, General, I can explain everything. But it is a long and somewhat complicated story. And let me assure you, this is not a case of milking chickens. What? But you won't understand what? where your bomb and little Orpheus has ended up unless I start at what? the very beginning and you let me tell you where I've been for the last three years. <laughs> Milking chickens? What do you? What does that even mean? Wait, what? Go. So, where am I supposed to be going now? I'm so confused. Oh, I bet. I, I bet. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. I just realized it's probably gotta climb. Keep climbing up. I don't know why. I, I, it looked like there was a place to go there. All right. We we'll just keep going over. <laughs> yeah, I already. I'm already digging the digging the universe thing. Like they got built here. All right. Up we go. I actually thought they were on another planet. I didn't realize it was turning us into the Earth. Then, but this had better be good. Oh, good, General. It's more than good. It's extraordinary. And it began like this. Whoa. What? It's like, huh. I'm confused. What is, what is just happening there? That was a really big drill. Like, I, I, I thought it was just gonna be like this drill car or something, not like... Sanity of that. What? Alright. 
There's a whole bunch of insanity going on down here. This is, this is quite a little intro. This is it's giving us a key as to everything that we're like going to be running up against. Man of the Orpheus. Comrades to the end center. Oh, are we going to start at like the very beginning before we even went down there? No, of course. An extraordinary sight. I realized this must be the fabled land of Plutonia, as documented oh, by the brilliant scholar Obrachev. A trail of destruction oh, carved ow. by the rock oh, my God. led down ow, into the ow. wild and mysterious jungle. The rocket drill itself must have snapped in half somewhere below Kamchatka, and little Orpheus bounced out and became lost in that prehistoric forest. If I was ever to get home, my mission was clear to find little Orpheus. Okay, Let's see, we got a crouch button, we got a jump button. I'm gonna push everything. I'm using a controller because I felt like I steeled myself. This be better. There's gonna be a lot of freaking commentary. Historic jungle. Where insects the size of dogs buzzed around. Dogs. What sort of dogs? I beg your pardon, General? Large dogs or small dogs? Big like an Avchaka or small like a Barlonka? Does it really matter? What? Of course. Detail is all important. Avchaka then, General. The size of an Avchaka. I find it what? very hard to believe. Would you find it easier if they were the size of a Barlonka? No. Yeah. <laughs> So what does but it matter? I'm enjoying your attempts to pursue pretty me. big insects. Like, I mean, the size of a small dog or a big dog, whatever kind of dog they were talking about. But I feel like, uh, the size of any sort of, like, normal size animal, or, you know, any sort of animal, even rodent size. That's a big bug, man. Big bug that I wouldn't want to have any part of. We I had a feeling. Oh, that was a lot more of a swinging than I expected. Whee! All right. <laughs> I'm digging the 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 vibe of this so far. This almost had like another part of the rocket drill, but still no sign of little Orpheus. Okay. Wait, why did we come down here with a nuclear bomb? I don't I don't understand. Okay. Was that it? Was that what we were looking for? Oh, that doesn't seem good. Alright, um, probably should keep moving. Yup, it looks like it's falling on us. There are being time of some sort. Oh god, we are quick time events. Alright, it's fine. Like, I'm, I'm generally, I feel like the one re one way I die in these types of games more than anything is misconception of jumping. So I'm um, actually feel like, this is one of the reasons I feel like the control is pretty well in this, pretty good in this because I haven't had that happen yet. Quick <laughs> time events are also a thing. is not uh, click well in my brain sometimes. Well, hello, Brontosaurus. How's it going? You, are, are we cool? In the trees, I could see huge beasts, cool. larger, oh God. more ancient than any known to our modern times. Could it be that Obrachev was right? And deep below the Earth's surface, prehistoric monsters still roam freely. Yes, yes, but little Orpheus. Uh, as, yes, yes, but I'm. Um, uh, what do you mean, yes, yes, but? Freaking. Giant dinosaurs? I mean, that. I mean, compared to how big we are, like, those are freaking. Like, big antisaur. Antisaurus? Titanosaurus. Oh, don't make that sound. It sounds like I fell to my death. Okay, so you're swinging back, right? Oh. Woo! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> that one we're all excited about. Woo! Alright. Keep just keep trucking. So far so good. Um Not so far so good. Okay. 
or knock me off. Gonna fall another insane distance and not get hurt. I mean, that freaking tumble. Lizard intent on oh. making a snack of me was none other than the most awful of the monsters, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Oh, now you are an expert on dinosaurs. Oh, hardly an expert, General. Just educated by the best schools in the world, like all good socialists. And I remembered one crucial thing. I'm listening. Well, uh, its greed is without bottom. Its hunger is ferocious. But its brain is absolutely tiny. So it can roar and roar as much as it likes, but it will never be a match for the sharpened mind of the good Soviet worker. All I needed <laughs> okay. was a plan to outwit the monster. I mean, I feel like now that we're down on the ground, I could just be like, step. It's game over, man. Alright, over. Well, that doesn't sound... God, cats pushing buttons on my controller. Or on my freaking keyboard. <laughs> Why did I just jump? I looked down, there's a cat paw on the space button. Well, that doesn't seem good. Um, Imagine my shock and surprise to find in that clearing the last part of the rocket drill. More shocking was the fact it had been ransacked. Someone had made off with the tools, the weapons, the rations, and the spare parts for the Pragviev. I began to suspect foul play. Perhaps Little Orpheus was not lost at all, but stolen. All I could do was follow the trail further into Plutonia. All right. Like how the timing is like, oh, I gotta cover my face from all the heat as I tell the story. All right. It was, is it gonna be like people or is it gonna be like that weird alien thing? Oh, that... Um. Assuming this is where I want to be hiding, right? I want to look back over there? Alright, and I'm off. Look over here. And you're moving somewhere else now. Almost, almost has the vibe of Little Nightmares. And just like the style that it's set up. At least this, this style right here. Oh, that doesn't seem good. Yeah, I was gonna say. So we all agree this was the fabled land of Plutonia, do we? I don't remember accepting that. I will admit it might not have been Plutonia if you are prepared to accept the dinosaur. This isn't a negotiation, Ivan Ivanovich. General, you can disagree all you like, but there's very little you can do to persuade me it wasn't a dinosaur. I might not be able to persuade you. But I can always have you shot. Huh? Yes. Um. Does this sound good? Ah! Alright, it's fine. It's fine. Am I supposed to keep running? I'm confused. Did he not. Did, how, how did you not see me? He should have had no problem seeing it. Alright. You hiding in the bushes? Alright, alright, alright. And I'm off. Why would, why would he even bother with me the size he is? Uh, uh. Cause I mean I'm just like a tiny little snack. Be better off going after something else. And I wouldn't even be a mouthful. <laughs> be like eating Skittles, man. <laughs> Maybe not in Skittles. But... Uh. All right. Oh no, that seems like the place I don't want to be. <laughs> oh, oh, did I fall in the egg? 
Alright, this is this is good. Um Alright, I'm running again. Do do nothing here. Nothing here at all. Oh. Yeah, I I I that was literally I needed to take my thumb off the mouse entirely. Or the cursor the thing entirely. <laughs> my hand twitch. And everything's fine. Like it vibrates right there for some reason. I don't, I'm not quite. I don't know if it's to tell you, hey, don't move after this point, but. The controller just kind of was like, burp. Yeah, like right there, it did it again. Okay. Assume these aren't your eggs, because otherwise, I fear you'd be like, uh. Why is, it, why is this egg over here? Do 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 don't mind me. No object permanence. Alright, and we're good. I'm not out of the egg yet, so either we're gonna fall and down a hill or oh, <clears throat> Alright, okay, there we go. I break open on the bottom. I mean, it protected us, right? I feel like you the inside hid of it. In sure. an egg? Yes, General. I hid in an egg. I am glad to hear your military training was not wasted. If only I had a single legion of men as brave and ingenious as you, with only a hundred men equipped with eggs to hide in, we could roll across Europe in a day. General, are you mocking me? You are as sharp as you are brave, Talarish. Okay. I mean, it's better than get even, getting eaten. What are you gonna do? I'm a little tiny man versus gigantic T-Rex. Can we just go through nighttime? Or is it just like rain is cleared and it's brightened up? That thing is still haunting us and it's just adamant about trying to eat us. Again, not even a mouthful. Oh, there's a big face. Alright. Oh, didn't mean, oh, no, I was just trying to jump. I'm gonna bunny hop. Get some speed going. Alright, I guess we gotta go up. Oh no, can I crouch under? Is there anything on the other side? Not a... Go. And over. Over. Okay. Nope, I should've known. Should've known better. Too easy just to jump all the way. Right. We are you serious? There, there's not a sprint button, is there? All right. Well, and then we jump over. I'm supposed to no. All right, just jump down. Okay, I didn't I could tell if those were background or if that was actually things to climb. Seems like a normal normal scenario here. Yeah, it's gotta be something for Yeah. Alright. I'm doing it! I know I'm playing this technically before the game is out. So I mean just like any of the games like that, there may be issues here and there before that like first first patch to fix everything. All right, right here, here we go go up here. I mean that that may not 
That could have been user error, not so much game. But yeah, just with anything. Any, any games that I play like this. Eh, what am I doing? What? Oh, 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 oh. One of those things I can move. Hey, T-Rex, I'm not over here. Ignore the sound you may have just heard. Oh, okay. I was wondering how this is supposed to help me. Wee. 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 I just jump down. Oh, I was like, wait. I don't need to bring that back over, right? Nope, nope, nope. The perfect height just to climb. I couldn't believe it. I still struggle to believe it. A whole lost city buried in that jungle deep below the crust of the earth. Who would have thought it was possible? Who indeed? It is, of course, a shame you didn't think to record the moment for posterity and help us all to get over our disbelief. But I did, General. I did. My training was excellent, and I immediately took out my Kamsamolyats and began to document all I could. What now with the what now? All right. I'm assuming camcorder? I'm not even sure. Wait, climbing all the way up? No. Make any sense? Come on. Over here. I think I need to bring this all the way over. I'm up there. Move that thing over somewhere. Okay, so I need a running start. Woo! Go up here, and then we gotta push this thing over to climb up somewhere else. Okay, to climb up there. So, where is this camera now, then? Ah, General, yes. <laughs> what, of course, I, I meant to say was my training was excellent, and I immediately reached for my camera only to realize it must have been torn from my utility belt in the crash and lost forever in that forgotten jungle. Of course. Oh, I, I think that would be like the, the humorous trick of all of it. Is, <laughs> this is all just some crazy story. Uh, I like the whole slide thing, so you don't have to sit there and be like, creepy crawl, creepy crawl. Bunny hop, bunny hop, bunny hop. The horrendous beast had returned and was hungrier than ever. Perhaps it was angry it had been fooled by an egg-wearing idiot. That is unkind, General. It may have been small of brain, but it was grand of stature. Whereas you, Ivan Ivanovich, are lacking in both departments. Not Presuming, cool. please, do tell me, what was this brilliant... I did, General. I ran like hell, General. Yeah. I feel like all we can or all we're just gonna be running now. Like I'm the size of a tooth. And I am like a skittle. Alright, 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 fine. Wee! Oh man, they really don't give you much time on that one. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Wee. I kinda just fell on that one. Can't get me over here. Just... Oh my god. Ah. I'm perfectly safe now. Nothing he gets anymore, right? It's completely destroyed some ruins. It's fine. Will our intrepid yet doomed hero survive the jaws of the ferocious dinosaur? Will he meet his end miles underground as an aperitif for a ravenous raptor? What dark secrets could be buried in the lost city of Agatha? Will the general ever discover the location of his lost bomb? All of these questions and more will be answered in the next exciting episode of Little Orpheus! Hundred men with eggs to hide in. Okay. So two, the enslaving of the men. How many episodes are there? God. All right, there's a little bit more than that. Whoa, some of these worlds look crazy. 
Everything gets nuts down here. What? 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 Okay. Don't do it last time on. Okay. What luck! What a miracle! One moment I was rushing into the fetid tonsils of that horrible monster. The next, I was plummeting downwards to the jungle floor beyond its reach. I prayed I would land on something... Perhaps your head. But nothing, nothing could have prepared me for what was about to unfold. An epic saga of pride, power, and revolution. A struggle for freedom, the likes of which our world has never seen. And it happened like this. You're dead. What do you mean? I feel like that much falling and you've already hit, like, middle velocity or whatever it is. Okay, good. I can skip the little intro. It's a cool intro, but I don't need to see it more than once a video. Which it looks like we'll get through maybe two episodes every video. As long as nothing gets crazy. But I feel like it's going to get crazier as we go. This is a... Um... Hello? <laughs> There was totally somebody there, right? Like, that wasn't just... Okay, yeah, there was totally somebody there. See you watching me. Right behind that pillar back there. What are you doing? These look, these look like the things from, like, uh... Murlocs? Mur Not what they were. Things from the... There's two more. Who were those strange, gentle monsters who towered above me? I could only guess they were the lost tribe of the Mimph. An earlier race of people. But why were they so fearful of those ancient gates that lay just beyond their village? And why did they seem to recognize me? Why? Huh? Alright. It's fine. The time machine, though. They remind me of the things in the time machine. It's not quite so much trying to eat you. Yes, I'm also wondering why. No, a cock, general. Who was I to question such things? Trapped as I was deep underground. I was more curious, I must admit, about the location of Little Orpheus. Yeah, Alright, I'm just gonna start jumping. Seems like I move faster when I'm jumping. Can't jump anymore, I'm not in control. Alright, sure. Let's, uh, I'll just follow you. You talk of a great city, a mighty power, yet your nymph squatted like savages in huts at its boundary. They did. Well, you guys are really tall. And the answer to that mystery lay beyond my grasp at that point. Because it was a wonder. It truly was. How do I... How do I... How do I hold, hold and interact? Oh, okay. Can I put you right here, I guess? Look, I'm sentient. I'm smart. I know how to do things. Is that what you're testing me on? All right, let's go into the temple. Are you guys gonna like trick me and me later? <laughs> There's an invisible wall there. <laughs> mm, the lost city of Agartha. I hope I may one day see it myself. Oh, General, if only you could. Unfortunately, as I shall explain, should you seek Agartha now, you wouldn't find it. It has been utterly destroyed. Oh. I mean, everybody here died? It's awful. Alright. Keep Utterly jumping. Utterly destroyed? Utterly, General. A tragic loss. A convenient loss. I imagine archaeologists weeping as I tell you. But most importantly, before we continue, you must understand one crucial fact about its destruction. Which is? It wasn't my fault. <laughs> it wasn't my fault. I had nothing to do with it, I swear. Well, that's not good. What's going on back there? Right here. Why is everything all, like, fuzzy on the edges of the screen? Sorry. I, mean, jump I don't mean to be jumping on you and jostling you around, but, uh... Gotta keep moving. Hey, buddy. Yeah, I was like, I really hope I'm supposed to jump onto this, because if I'm not, this is about to suck. <laughs> Alright. 
Oh. Hey, I freed you. Machines controlling people, then? Those poor, unfortunate Mienkf, trapped and kidnapped and dragged away only to return as vicious foot soldiers to some unknown tyrant. And yet, <laughs> there was something familiar about the Stokovna they were forced to wear on their heads, which I was sure were being used to control and enslave them. And what was that? General, it curiously resembled the radio sets I used to tinker with as a child. Radio sets? It was very curious. It was very curious. It was extremely curious. I mean, it reminded me of like the big old diver helmet. Recognize this. Y'all. What the one guy did. Thing showed up. Right? You're just gonna come down here, right? Yes? Alright, there. And door open? Let's go. To the next, next area. <laughs> I feel like that happens a lot in games where you, you jump and you actually get more speed than when you running okay so now we got to be sneaky right I mean I okay now you look like I feel like you're not really looking at me. right Oh, okay. It's like, oh, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get busted on that one for sure. Hmm. An ancient technological metropolis, powered by a glowing resin, carved from the very earth. A glowing resin carved from the very earth. Do you see, General? Uh, I fear you are about to enlighten me. <laughs> I fear. Uh, I, lo I love the double. Double, like repeating oneself. Little Orpheus must have been drained by the impact, but whoever had stolen it and brought it here was no doubt planning to use the Agarten resin to charge up the atomic bomb, restoring the device to its full potential. Oh. What sort of man would come up with such a monstrously reckless scheme? Perhaps the type of man who has such limited understanding of atomic energy that he thinks an ancient metropolis can be powered by shiny marbles. I mean, it is. What are you on about? I mean, what, what, is, what is he supposed to think is actually happening? What, what, is, the, what is the guy thinking exactly? You know? Grab you, we'll roll this. I mean, I, I was just thinking, I mean, it just looks like magma balls to me. But wait, 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 we won't be able to touch this. All right, let's go. Through the next room. I imagine as we go deeper, there's gonna be more of the hostiles. So far, everything's been fine. I, I died once? Yeah, I died once. That's because my hand freaked out. All right, let's keep trucking. Uh, okay. Wait. Oh, 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 my brain. I'm like, what? Okay, so I need to grab this and obviously move. Oh, it's gonna be my... I see. Okay. You just not notice I exist? Alright, good. I didn't know if that was gonna work or not. Alright. 
Oh, it's another one of those things. Oh, I'm gonna go before you have a chance to get over here. In case that's what you're trying to do. Why? Why did I go all sneaky? I'm not sure what the point of that was. No, 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 no! I didn't realize it was time! Oh, <laughs> it's like, wait, where am I going? Up on this chain. And over and across, I'm assuming. Whee! I didn't think I was making that one. Whee! And to the chain! Going down? Okay, just to get around that guy, because he's not moving. Alright. Try crouching, it just made me stand up again. Alright. Whoa, I didn't even notice the thing in the background. That's quite the city there. Excuse me? Oh, is that supposed to be the bomb? What's happening? Whoa, I almost lost. Oh my god. Uh, okay. I was I was more I was just sitting there in awe watching what was happening behind me. Are they going to use that on the thing? Or were those people mind controlled? I didn't see anything on their heads, but I couldn't really see their heads. I am curious, Ivan Ivanovich. You talk and talk about this great subterranean city. Yet what you describe sounds strangely familiar. It does in some way bear an uncanny resemblance to the glorious architecture of Comrade Alexei Dushkin. Wouldn't you agree? Tanyet, General. I have never heard of this great Tavarish. Huh? Dushkin or his works. Interesting. Because you were photographed on the steps of his marvelous Visotka na Krasnich Varotach, shaking what? hands with the Glavny Constructor. That was the chief designer? The sweaty little fat man with the bad hearing? Mind your mouth, Ivan Ivanovich. And don't think you can distract me by slandering one of the great visionaries of our time. He's really quiet. Without him, neither of us would be sitting here now. Must remember to thank him for that, General. All right, up we go. I didn't even notice the bridge was closing until I was already almost crossed it. And I was up there. I was looking at the freaking subtitles at the top because he got really quiet. All right, hippity hop, hippity hop, our way through. I think this is a pretty cool story. I'm enjoying this game a lot. I very much am a fan of the graphics and artwork. Oh, that oh there's a ball there. Okay, it's like um normally that brings a ball out, but I don't see where it's gonna be. It's Those to... enslaved mink were trying to stop me. I was sure of that now. I find myself... Oh, uh, okay. I must admit. No, General, then I have failed to win you over. Uh-huh. A point of agreement at last. Alright, 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 alright. Can I hit the... Can I hit the switch? What? So confused. What am I supposed to do? Well, let me do both of them at the same time here. Yeah, I gotta get that thing on there. I'm so confused. So I hit this, but then I'm like stuck in place, so I can't get back fast enough. Go up, we go up. And it like wouldn't let me hit this when I walked up to it. Yeah, like right now. Well, let me do it. There we go. All right, come on. It's got to be enough time, right? There's no other way for me to do this. Okay. I don't. I don't know what happened the first time. It won't be doing it. I was just kind of doomed. Oh, okay. So this is gonna basically start moving like a tram. I can hide behind it as it goes. Yeah, we gotta keep going, man. 
don't want to run too fast. Oh, oh, oh! Oh no! Huh, huh, yeah, I need to hippity hop. That's like the only way to do it. I mean, if I would have not gotten stuck. Are you mocking? That would be unprofessional, comrade. I will try harder to convince you then. It is, after all, a cautionary tale of unleashed tyranny. It is a cautionary tale of unleashed idiocy. Bartley, do continue. All right, all right. No threats there. This is fine. <laughs> oh, that doesn't seem good. What are you doing? Alright, over. What are you screaming about? I mean, I'm actually, I am, I'm picking up speed. I don't, I don't think I'm supposed to be able to go this fast, but you know what? Bunny hop all the way, man. Oh, I didn't think I was making that. Right, all is well and good. I stepped from the cable car onto a plateau at the center of the city, where a palace, a vast acropolis, stood. I was reminded of Chelyabinsk Sorok. May I ask how you know of Chelyabinsk Sorok? My aunt Marsha was a traveling tinker who married a beef well, that's crazy. from Zlatoust. She told me of a secret but wonderful city in the west. An edifice of sheer power, humbly serving the will and needs of the people. Yes, unfortunately, that story didn't end so well. No, that's what Auntie Marsha told me. <laughs> and perhaps that is why I was also reminded Ooh. of it. Because the moment I touched the floor in that place, I could tell something was very, very wrong. Are you gonna go or are you just gonna stand there, man? Don't just stand there. Hey. Okay, is that a way to walk away? Alright, alright. Uh got it. we're on an elevator. The ground began to shake alarmingly. And the whole city felt as if it was shuddering. I could only imagine what I would find at the heart of the vast temple. If it isn't a giant glowing marble, I'm going to be very disappointed. <laughs> Can I move this? No? Okay. I mean, there's a super bright... It's going to be a giant glowing marble. Isn't it? To see a super bright light. A huge resin sphere that overshadowed all of the others. Okay. I caught glimpses through the twisted architecture. And it was then I saw him. Him? The thief, the enslaver, the tyrant, sucking the power from this wondrous city as he drained the very lifeblood of the ancient civilization and drew it into the atomic embrace of Little Orpheus. With a song in my heart, I ra- What? Did that happen sooner than it was planned in the audio there? Or... This kind of fell. I think, I think that may have been the point. Interact with you in some way? No? Alright. What? Oh, like, what am I doing? Uh, uh, uh. Over. Sure, what I was crouching and hiding for. Keep going. Keep going up. Or just go in some random direction. There we go. I'm assuming this is going to bring a ball down. We good? Alright, I thought I was gonna be coming over with him, but that's fine. Doodly 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 doodly, don't notice me. 
Okay, I was just gonna go whether he was here or not. Yeah, let's see, I'm pretty sure I'm hiding behind it, so it's fine. Alright, and then you're gonna be a switch. Activate the switch, and what do you do? You're slamming the X button. Staring up there. Oh, I see. Okay. Like, I don't know exactly how this helped me. Alright, alright, alright. Go. Alright, and then up we go. Or is this another elevator? I mean, the dude didn't look like he had a helmet on. Of its power, the magical heart of the city cracked. And it sent shockwaves through the world around me. A true monster general, willing to bring down the mountain itself upon Agatha and bury it forever in his ruthless scheme. I could not save that wondrous place, general, to my shame and regret. But I resolved myself to avenge the Mien, to recapture little Orvius, and to bring down, that can't... tyrant to justice. It just fell down the exact same hole. No, we found somewhere else. Oh, 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 oh. Is that the giant orb? No, that was the things that were falling down with us. We all right? That should stop it. No, it's not stopping it. Okay. Oh, thought I was doomed to that last one. I'm not gonna lie. We all right? I'm scared to do that now because that one piece that did fall and break off some of it. All right, that's fine. Will our plucky yet careless hero fall forever through those unknown skies? Will he discover the identity of the brutal thief commanding the army of the Menkf? What chance does he have of ever returning to his beloved homeland? How long can the general's patience last? All of these questions and more will definitely be answered in the next exciting episode of Little Orpheus! Alright. Beef investigation in Zlout's last... What? The words? Alright. It's episode 2, so now we're in some... The Whales and Worms. Lost Recordings mode is now available. Revisit Ivan's adventures and discover new orbs scattered throughout the unlock of behind-the-scenes content and hilarious out. What? If I go back. Oh. Oh, yeah, so there's, like, little things there. Okay. So, yeah, of whales and worms. Alright. Uh, part of me wants to start another one, but I don't know. I kind of like leaving it on a cliffhanger. I think it's, this is a cool little thing. How do I go back? Can I go back? It doesn't really let me. Uh, but, yeah, I think I'm going to leave it here for now. So, let me know if you guys want to see more. This is... This has been an enjoyable game. I very much want to go through this whole thing. So as long as it does well, I will definitely come back for more. Because, yeah, I, I very much enjoy this. It was just like a nice... It's, it's like an interactive movie. Like, on the how how the storytelling's work, working and how everything's going. I don't know. It's it's very enjoyable. And the Journey to the Center of the Earth, like every iteration of that movie, TV show, that one weird TV show they had, I've always loved. Like, I, 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 I had no idea. I thought this was another planet. But the fact that that is what it is, is even cooler to me. So yeah, hit the like button, leave comments. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.